I'm number one on your speed dial right next to your weed dealer. Please call me. McGill, James McGill, I'm an attorney. It's showtime, folks. All I can say is we all should be glad that Vince Gilligan and Peter Gould and AMC decided to take some more time to get Better Call Saul just right. Because this Breaking Bad prequel is nothing short of fantastic. Debuting on February 8th for the first of a two-night premiere in the very choice slot of being right after The Walking Dead mid-season return, the Bob Odenkirk-led series is a coming-of-age and an identity tale for adults and the ages. Now, for one thing, giving the people what they know they want, Gilligan and AMC start the series off with a glimpse at life for the ethically challenged lawyer post-Breaking Bad. And it's gonna make you look around a bit more next time you go to the mall. Now, here's the thing. The location is the same Albuquerque of Breaking Bad, and obviously some of the characters are the same. Though there's no Brian Cranston or Aaron Paul, and there are visits out to the desert. But Saul, or rather Jimmy McGill, as is his real name, is not Walter White Redux by any measure. In fact, he's not even Saul Goodman yet. Law offices of James McGill, how may I direct your call? Let me lay it out to you the best way I can. You know when you go see a superhero movie, like the first in a possible franchise, and they spend about almost an hour on the origin story, and the hero's discovery of his powers and literally flexing a little muscle. And you know how that can be boring, because you know how this ends and you just want him to put on the cape and do the business? Well, okay. Better Call Saul is both like and unlike that. It's like that because you know the unmissable heavyweight that the slippery Jimmy McGill of Cicero, Illinois will become. And it's unlike it because the getting there, at least from what I've seen, is about as far from boring as you can get. Now you either pay the three dollars or you go back inside and you get an additional sticker. Son of a bitch. Taking place about six years before Walter White even walks into the then successful Saul's life, Odenkirk's Jimmy is a minefield of a man, struggling with who he is, who he wants to be, and what he turns out to be very good at. Which is being very bad, or at least being the very good legal representative of the truly bad. Three defendants, 2100, which by the way, bargain what I did for them. They going to jail, ain't they? So since when does that matter? The process is something Gilligan carved down to near perfection in Breaking Bad and finds new form here. To help paint the big picture, the Sony Pictures TV produced show time travels us not only to post Breaking Bad Saul, but to a younger Saul slash Jimmy and an even younger Saul slash Jimmy in some really serious trouble. All of which puts down some very interesting markers and techniques for where the show will go and for where it'll take us. Now noticeably joining this world is that former spinal tapper Michael McCain as the yet to be Saul's brother Chuck, a hugely successful lawyer who is now a medical shell of himself and a poignant moral counterpoint to Jimmy slash Saul. You have meddled with the primal forces of nature, Mr. Hamlin, and I won't have it. Plus, with great confidence, there's a joyous reference to the seminal 1976 pick network. And who can't love that? In fact, I say, who can't love Better Call Sal? Because if you want to see great TV, then you need to have this on your channel, or at least on your speed dial. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood. Go with God.